Here in Indianapolis, the PRI show with Spencer Hyde. Just uh, finished the World Series of Pro Mod press conference. Uh, and obviously, you were front and center in that, uh, given what you pulled off last March. So, uh, how are things going for you? Uh, things are well. Things are good. We just came off a really good weekend in Bradenton uh, down at the Snowbirds. We had, uh, we had a really good car there. We qualified number two. Uh, unfortunately, red lit um, third round against Lyle. Um, you know, I think if I could have kept it green, we probably had the car to win. Um, so that's that's exciting going into our next races, the World Series Pro Mod 2024. So um, I, I feel like we've got a much, much better car now than we did when we won it. Um, so that's that's pretty exciting. And um, yeah, we, we had a good season overall. I mean, we didn't we didn't win any other races, but we, we ran well at PDRA. Uh, we qualified in the top half of the field a bunch of times and just uh, just couldn't get it done. But it, the racing is so tough over there that, um, you know, anybody can win any time. So. Um, and also you got licensed. Yeah, we got, did finish my license in Peyton's top fuel car, which was awesome. Did that at Gainesville right before the World Series, actually. And then uh, ran some match races this summer with them in Grand Bend in New York. And then um, had my NHRA de debut in um, Pomona, California a few weeks ago uh, in fiery fashion. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, it's exciting. I think we're, we're geared up to do Gainesville with them. And, um, you know, we're looking for more funding, but... Uh, that's, that's not a cheap way to go racing, so um, we'll see what happens, see what we can put together. Okay, and like I was saying, we, I don't know if we met, but it was, like, it was two years ago here yeah. when you were introduced as part of the uh, 30 Under 30 and Drag Illustrated, and obviously a huge honor that was, yeah. and uh, it's been a wild ride to see uh, where you're at now. Yeah, no, that was kind of, um, that was an important deal to me. I, I was here earlier watching the, the press conference for this year, for this, this year's class, and I think it's a really, really good thing to, to get the young people in the sport credit and, um, you know, keep them ambitious. And that was kind of the start of my, um, not start of my career, but it was the first big notoriety that I got. And, um, you know, it just keeps, keeps you motivated for pushing forward and going and finding the funding to keep doing it. So, um, like you were on the radar because of that, like, with, with absolutely. And like, you know, yeah, you guys had a relationship. And it started, that's an started invite, a relationship right? uh, with Drag Illustrated and, and since then it's just grew stronger and these guys are great people and they're, they're doing really good things for the sport. And, um, you know, I, I'm behind them hundred percent on what they're doing and, and I hope we can keep going forward with it. Yeah. It's just amazing to hear just that event that, that you won, but how in such a short time, what it's come to mean to people, like it's, it's a, out of the box. It's a huge yeah, thing. For something to, you know, be the inaugural event. Usually it takes a few years to build, build momentum, but this thing didn't, it was just a hit from the beginning and, like I said, just getting an invite felt like a win in itself. And then, then making the field on the bump spot and, you know, the way that Sunday went and we won the deal. Um, it was awesome. And everybody, everybody talked about that race all year long, like all through the PDRA season, everybody talked about world series of pro mod and, and, and the next one. And, and, um, so yeah, I, he's got something going here. I, I hope it's, I hope it's going to keep going the way it is. And I know they're going to keep building on it. So I'm really excited to see what, what yeah. this year's well, he's, event brings. You can tell he's Pied Piper. Like he makes, oh, yeah. makes stuff happen, huge energy. and Absolutely. And he knows he knows all the right people. He knows how to find money to, to make these events big and what they need to be. And, you know, right from when we drove in the gate, um, you got a swag bag and you got a jacket and you got, a, you know, had your, my name on it and everything. Like it's just they treat the racers really, really well. And, and that goes a long way, like further than – further than people think um yeah. you know they had a, a dinner on the thursday night and they provided all the pizza and beer and everything and and that means a lot to the racers it, it might not seem like much but it really does and it gets everybody together in a little bit different setting and you know you, you shoot or shoot the shit and 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 make some jokes with everybody and you know because it's pretty serious when you're racing right so yeah. um that was nice that was really good so i'm excited to see what happens next year okay and then uh, we'll all be rooting for you yeah, and, thank uh, you. and what a thrill it was too last year after you won, and it, like you were concerned with getting your car back, getting it fixed up, and all that. And yeah. uh, we'll never forget you coming to Motorama and, and helping out and be a part of that uh, just the week after, as, yeah, as, that, as your life was blown up. That was uh, definitely a new experience. I've never had that much attention on me before, and I, I think I had like three hundred and some text messages on Sunday night that I just I kind of put my phone down and, and let it all sink in, but. Um, yeah, that was a really cool deal, and, and I was glad to be able to make the Motorama event next weekend. And, you know, I've never walked into a place where people start coming up to me and congratulating Rockstar. me and stuff. So that was yeah. uh, that was a new experience, but it was good. It was fun, and 
and um, you know, hopefully we can win some more and, and keep it going. Absolutely. You're, well, you're always welcome, and uh, like I said, we'll never forget that you you did that. So yeah. Anyway, great to catch up with you here in Indianapolis, and uh, good luck. Okay. Thanks, Rick. Thanks.